Uh, so welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Markus Nullmeier. I work in an astronomy uh, data center at the University of Heidelberg. And there we use uh, Postgres uh, for, <coughs> for storing uh, various kinds of data. And uh, okay. So um, today I'm going to speak uh, about a special kind of data that uh, probably not everybody uses daily, but I've had some feedback from the previous talk that actually people do use it occasionally in relation databases, namely uh, sets as uh, custom data types. And uh, they are, uh, as we will see, also useful in astronomy. And uh, they don't exist as, as a built-in feature in Postgres as such. However, uh, one can get uh, pretty much far if uh, one uh, just uh, uses uh, uh, available data types uh, such as JSONB to, to, to emulate uh, sets. So how would you do it? You basically um, uh, put the elements uh, as keys in, inside a associative <coughs> array in, in JSON and then, and then you're ready to, 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 to use a set. Another option is uh, uh, the array data type from Postgres. Uh, the only thing there <coughs> is that you have to make sure that the arrays are, are sorted, which is not automatically done. So uh, what does uh, Postgres already uh, offer for sets? Uh, 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 various useful uh, operations. Uh, probably uh, the best uh, uh, way to, to have a serious uh, set <coughs> operations in Postgres is, is not actually JSON, but the uh, extension int array, probably not that much known in the uh, contrib part of Postgres. And then you can uh, uh, automatically <coughs> uh, use uh, overlap uh, subset and, and, and all the usual uh, set uh, functions. And uh, the nice thing is that actually, um, well, it's in the middle of the slide, um, that uh, in uh, Postgres uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the flexible indexing and uh, uh, for uh, these uh, built-in or contrib data types of int array, JSON B, and H store, uh, uh, we have the possibility. I'll go one slide back. Uh, sorry, to to actually accelerate uh, these uh, set operation in in, in, in queries uh, using indexes, and and, and mostly using uh, uh, GIN indexes. So. Um, as probably most of us know, the, the, the GIN uh, means, well, it's not on this slide, but it means a uh, generalized uh, inverted index. And uh, this is actually uh, the default and very, not the only, but a very popular mm, method uh, to uh, uh, search fast in sets. And there, uh, people call it inverted file for some reason which I don't know, but uh, it is essentially an inverted index. And uh, it works just as uh, you probably know from Jin that the uh, <coughs> elements of, of a set are, are the key in, in an index. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, if, if you want an <coughs> accelerate operation on a column of, of sets, for example, in the array, then uh, this uh, uh, gin index puts the, uh, uh, the the elements as as into as, as gin keys, and uh, it is uh, uh, quite fast for uh, uh, searching single elements, uh, as is the de de design of this in the inverted index <coughs> indexes. Yes, right. Um, there is another option uh, which is also uh, probably not really much known, a uh, part of contrib. Um, if you have um, uh, the necessity to uh, accelerate uh, queries uh, such as uh, superset queries, um, 
there is a, a special kind of structure called RD trees. So these are something like R trees, uh, so generalized B trees, for, for a set containment. And uh, I believe actually Theodore implemented this uh, some time ago, and it's, it, it, it is uh, in contrib uh, available as, as an uh, indexing method uh, uh, implemented via the, the GIST uh, generalized uh, uh, search tree interface. Okay. So this is what we already have in Postgres. Um, now we, okay, so, okay, I keep on. <laughs> now the evaluation of uh, uh, what Postgres already has, okay, so I hope you can hear me better now, <laughs> is that uh, the, uh, 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 for relatively small sets, it, it, it works fine and uh, uh, the only thing is that uh, uh, it is basically limited to two things. Uh, a, uh, uh, at least this is uh, as the, the, this is, uh, the case now, that the set operations, um, uh, at least if you want to, to check sets or whatever, if, if you are not bound to an index-only scan, then, then you must uh, read the whole data structure from disk or from buffers, shared buffers at least, and uh, uh, this, uh, if the set is very large, probably takes too much time. Uh, well, this is, is, is not a fundamental limitation, uh, uh, so, so in, in Postgres, uh, the uh, big data, <coughs> so large blob-like you know, custom data is, is, is stored in this toast mechanism, and there are functions there, for example, this uh, PGD toast the datum slice, where you can get just part of, of uh, your data that is stored on disk. So uh, probably this will change for, for some data types uh, that, that are in Postgres already, at least as far as I know, uh, there are some ideas to make that. Um, okay, so, um, so these are not really related. Uh, if you have some domain-specific uh, requirements, as, as we have in astronomy, uh, then the uh, stock Postgres data types are probably not enough. And this we'll see. Now the next slide, well, this is probably a bit too much at first. So, uh, so astronomy nowadays is, is not only about stars or something, uh, <coughs> still, of course, but uh, for um, various uh, uh, use cases, one wants to locate uh, when one wants to have as an object uh, bigger parts of, of, of the uh, celestial uh, sphere. For example, what we <coughs> can see here on the right, this is something like a prob probability map of, of uh, a gravitational wave event that was discovered uh, last year for the first time. And uh, there you have some relatively irregular structures. And what is standard in astronomy uh, is that uh, one uh, uses some kind of, of discretization, uh, uh, some kind of, of multi-order cover uh, coverage in uh, some uh, uh, numbering system. Well, it's, it's not clearly visible if you're in the front, maybe. So uh, this is just a, a, a sketch what uh, this <coughs> may look like internally. Uh, you have some, some uh, diamond, uh, sized, uh, um, uh, uh, shaped, uh, diamond-shaped objects on, on, on the sphere and, and uh, of, of various sizes so, so as to uh, better approximate uh, the, the real shape of uh, um, the object you want to describe. Uh, what this comes down to is that, uh, uh, mathematically speaking, this is actually also a set of, of points on the sphere, but is approximated by these uh, elements of uh, various sizes. And uh, uh, when one looks into the details, it's actually relatively simple. Each of these elements uh, is just an interval of, of, <coughs> of, uh, on, on, on the integer domain. And therefore, we uh, uh, actually have not a set of single points as we had uh, in the built-in uh, Postgres uh, 
uh, data structures such, such as int array and then JSON, but we have uh, in, uh, we have these intervals. Uh, okay, so probably it's better seen here. So any one of these uh, <coughs> diamonds comes down to one kind of interval, we, we're probably with greater numbers. So we have this list here. And okay, so this whole list is a set and that it would be absolutely inefficient to store all these very small points for, for, for just these, these big areas. So we must do something with these uh, uh, intervals. Okay. Okay, on this slide, um, uh, there are some <coughs> more details. Uh, 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 w w what these really uh, is used for. Um, I don't have it uh, on a special slide, but uh, it's actually used for uh, um, also for n not only for the single events like for gravitational wa waves, but also for uh, uh, the uh, coverage of uh, some astronomical catalogs of some systematic observation of the sky. Not all of the sky is usually seen an observation for example if you've got the uh, telescope on on one <coughs> uh, on, on, on on the northern or southern hemisphere then you can't see all of the sky and there are other limitations so uh, these uh, 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 areas where these observations are made are, are, are often very bizarre and uh, this means that this is a bizarre form, and this means that the uh, actually sets uh, may be quite quite large, so up to the order of, of megabytes. Um, okay, here we have, if, if anyone should be interested, uh, the uh, uh, domain-specific uh, standard that, uh, that I'm implemented. Uh, this uh, Helpix is basically a numbering system for these diamonds. And uh, so, uh, now, where does come Postgres into play? Uh, luckily, it's like this that uh, for at least the community of uh, astronomical archives, um, probably two thirds of the data centers already use Postgres. Okay, so uh, uh, here I uh, have something that I believe I've already said. So, so if one looks at this from another point of view, basically what we have is, is something like a, a run length encoding, <laughs> compression of these smaller uh, uh, elements in, 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 into bigger ones. Okay. Uh, so the first thing that uh, that the then I, I had to do is, is uh, implement uh, custom data types a type that uh, can store this uh, uh, multi-order uh, coverage as, as a sim uh, single uh, Postgres uh, datum. Um, and uh, usually uh, uh, what uh, well, no, what I want to do to, to access things faster is, is, is to store them in, in, in sorted order. And uh, for the application use cases in astronomy, uh, one uh, searches for, for subsets uh, of the set and also uh, for, for single numbers and for, for set overlaps. So, so pretty much standard stuff. And uh, well, I, I'd like to skip one <laughs> slide uh, and come back then. <laughs> so uh, here we see uh, our list that we have to store. Um, I mean, if this gets very big of megabytes in size uh, and, and you just want to search a small area uh, in, in, in this uh, set or, or just a, a single point, then it's quite inefficient to load the whole sort of list all the time. And so what I did is, is, is basically I, I made a read-only uh, B tree serialization where um, the uh, B tree is, is sorted as the start of the, uh, <coughs> with the start of the intervals. And, and this works because uh, we uh, have uh, uh, no overlap. Um, 
uh, with these intervals. Okay, so let's go back. Ah, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> so this is what I just had said, and um, yeah, I know. Sorry, this was okay. No, uh, what I said. So so. <clears throat> Uh, since it's uh, this big, as I said, uh, one has to use the, the, the toast uh, 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 mechanism for Postgres. So this uh, is uh, a little bit technical, but it's, 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 it's nicely described in the Postgres documentation. And uh, what I'm doing is that uh, when this uh, uh, List of, 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 of intervals is is is, is put into into a, a, a table that, that that I just sorted and and build a compact sort of read only B tree uh, uh, in memory first and 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 then I uh, distribute this uh, to uh, uh, sort of internal pages and 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 what I chose is the toast fragment size. This is a bit. Technical, but therefore, uh, with that, I can minimize the number of, of disk, disk <coughs> accesses. Uh, okay, and and uh, here uh, uh, you, you can read that uh, this is not a normal B tree like thing where you can modify data or something, uh, and, and and there's space uh, in between so as to make the B tree operations fast. Uh, since, since it's, it's just written one, once, there's essentially no space wasted. And also, uh, sometimes one has to uh, access the data sequentially. <coughs> and uh, then uh, it works out that the lowest level of, of the B tree is actually stored in, in, in something like an array, in an array of, of these toast uh, fragment pages. OK, I think this is. Clear, I hope. Any questions up to now? Yes, yes, exactly that. Okay, yes, yes. It's, 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 it's on this representation of a single datum. And, and, and why does this pointer work? Okay, it doesn't. Ah, it's not, not important. So, so I mean, uh, so, so if, for example, if, if, if you want to search if, if some, some single uh, uh, value is inside a B tree. Well, in this case, whatever. Let's search for 17 or something. Uh, what's done that that, that I first uh, detoast uh, the the uh, beginning of of, of 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 the datum, and and then go on. Okay, great, thank you. And then I go on with this uh, PG detoast datum slice uh, to the next. Uh, level of the B tree and so on. So this is uh, how it's done. And yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, and it's all, uh, on this slide. So, so one experiment uh, I, I made there, um, one more standard fast server machine, uh, is, is, is to have all the um, coverages of, of, of the uh, largest astronomy site uh, in, in, in Strasbourg in France uh, uh, and, and uh, I, I'm searching just for a single point in, in, in this 17k well uh, many of them are small so uh, the big ones are probably the real big ones like hundreds of megabytes are probably just a few dozen or something but still uh, uh, consistently a, a random point I, I get it at least in 75 milliseconds which I think is okay because I, the, all the data in the serialization I, I have is, is, is on the order of one, two gigabytes. So, I mean, I don't have comparisons, but I, I, I think this is at, at least usable. Yeah. Further questions up to this point? Yes. Uh, actually, this is a bug in the slide. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so there should be something like uh, 100, uh, maybe 33 or something. Uh, you see, and uh, yeah. So, 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 so the the uh, yeah. So, so, so uh, this was a bit lazily done. Sorry, but 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 so so the important thing here is 
it's not on the slide that the uh, well, I mean, one could use uh, the middle point even, but it's it's convenient to to use the first point of an interval, and 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 maybe not everybody is, is familiar with this notation. So basically, this is just half open intervals. So this is all the numbers starting uh, from 33 up to, but not including 40. I mean, this just makes uh, programming easier. I mean, the 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 I/O actually is, is is different, but this is how it's internally stored. No, no, no. It's not x and y. It it it, it is it is more complicated. I I I'm not uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, have, I, I don't have a slide that uh, specifically. Well, well, what it basically means is is, is, is is that these numbers so so correspond to one area here. There, so, so, yeah, this is one area this, because there's some sophisticated numbering scheme of of these areas where uh, conceptually at, at the lowest resolution uh, one has maybe uh, ten thousandths of a degree or something. Uh, a small uh, diamond which represents one number and the, and, and, and the numbering is, is, is relatively cunning so that if you have a, 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 a bigger diamond uh, actually the, these uh, are represented by four numbers on, on, on the lower levels and therefore you get uh, Diamonds. I, I mean, I, I, I don't have it uh, seen anywhere, but it would be more didactical basically to make uh, some globe and, and basically write the number right on the globe to, <laughs> to make it uh, better understandable. Set of non-overlapping ranges. Uh, oh, no, no, non-overlapping intervals, yes, yes. I mean, this is basically, uh, it, it is uh, abstractly, one could see it, it's in a compression idea for, for uh, uh, for, for sets. Um, and uh, conceptually, this is not uh, only um, uh, uh, restricted, I believe, to, to, um, uh, um, to integers. And in principle, one, one could do this uh, with floating point number as well in other domains, maybe. Maybe for, for time data or something. I don't know. I don't work in that area, but uh, so, yeah. Okay. Doesn't use the built-in range types. No, no, no. Because uh, uh, you see, it's it, it's basically a set of ranges. So, so, so the range type is in, in Postgres. They only offer one range as a datum. But what we need is 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 is, 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 is many ranges, a list or set of ranges, as, as as one datum. And and this doesn't exist in Postgres yet. So, yeah. Further questions? Something like create type set as int for range. Um, I mean, actually, uh, I, I don't have enough uh, time or funding or, or to, to, to do a general solution. So, unfortunately, uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it will be publicly available, or I mean, anybody can get it if you ask me right now. It is uh, uh, just uh, actually 64-bit uh, int for, for, for some standards reason, what, what I did. But of course, it, it would be nice to, to have a general feature where, where it's parameterized by, by, by a uh, numeric data type. I agree, but... No, this this uh, is uh, this I haven't unfortunately done. <laughs> so and and probably I most likely won't have the time to do that. But yeah, okay. So let's see uh, how far we got. Okay, this I have already said mostly, I believe. Okay, so. Uh, yes, we, we stopped here. So, so this, well, B tree and doesn't correspond to to this uh, exactly, but in, in principle, something like this is re inter represented here with this uh, toast fragment size uh, on disk. Uh, so, and it does give a, a relatively good speed up. However, uh, the main uh, point, at least the title of my talk 
hasn't <coughs> come up yet, and it uh, w will shortly. So, uh, it is conceivable, at least, that uh, these uh, searches are not fast enough, because uh, what you have to do is, is to do, anyway, a sequential scan where each scan is relatively fast because it's just a few page lookups in, 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 a, in a B tree for each datum, but still it's relatively, uh, 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 well, uh, uh, not, not something like a real index or anything. So, um, the idea that I had is, 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 is why couldn't we generalize these inverted index idea that exists for, for single datums also to these intervals. And um, in principle, it, sh it should be possible. And, 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 and here's a very rough uh, layout of uh, how uh, an index in principle may look like. So, so intervals would be the keys and of, of, of this inverted index and, and, and not the points as, as, as uh, in, 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 in GIN or something. And uh, so uh, we basically would have a, for the uh, people interested in the eternal, so, 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 so there's something like a B tree here, just as in GIN, uh, like the GIN entry tree. And uh, here we would have these uh, sky maps, so these, these uh, <coughs> uh, uh, set elements that uh, contain these intervals. So this was uh, the general idea. However, uh, you can't do this, for example, with Jin directly, uh, uh, because uh, also in the index, these intervals really shouldn't overlap. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the axis would be slow. And, and this means if you insert a new um, set in your index, it is, uh, I, I mean, for, for point-like sets, it is that, that just the, the points are added here in, 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 in this, this entry B tree. Uh, but with these intervals, because they may in principle overlap, the, these have to, uh, they, they have to be split, and this will be uh, made clear later. Okay, so, uh, so the splitting actually in, in, in GIN is impossible as far as I know. However, um, there has been a relatively recent development. Uh, in, 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 in Postgres first, uh, it's not in the slide, but in, uh, since, since, since Postgres 9.6, one can have real indexes uh, with uh, while logging uh, and, 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 and proper interfaces and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, so the, the work by Alexander Karutkov, and, 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 and this is uh, basically a foundation to try to something like that I had described on, on the previous slide. However, I mean, it's much work, especially if, if one is, 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 is relatively new to Postgres. And uh, so this was a problem. However, luckily, uh, our friends from, from Postgres Professional, they uh, basically uh, made an improved version of GIN available uh, last year called RUM. And, and, and this you can uh, use as an installable extension. And, and, and this is uh, very useful for small uh, work groups such as I work in, because basically you can't afford to, to make a fork of Postgres or something. But, but an extension is, is, is in principle uh, uh, affordable. Okay. However, uh, uh, ROM already has some modifications that are very useful. For example, uh, links between the, uh, the uh, uh, bottom layer of, of the entity tree. Uh, Jin has only right or left links, uh, so only links in one direction, and, 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 and ROM has both, which is, is good. But still, uh, some modifications were made, and, 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 and this is why I, I came up with a new name. <laughs> and, 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 and this Uzo is, is an index access method that is specifically tuned 
basically it's it, it's still a hack on on, on room or the descent of, of gin still but uh, i i added these um uh, extra uh, machinery that is necessary uh, to to make uh, uh, this uh, index is set up with non-overlapping intervals work and uh, here at least uh, it is generic or uh, well uh, with, with some more polishing it will be uh, so uh, there if you have got a custom data type of 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 of, uh, of intervals you basically can plug uh, you can plug in, in into uso and 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 write a few uh, bit c code not too much and then you will be eventually be able to use this indexing uh, and uh, the good thing is that actually all the the, the hard part uh, of, of an index access method in, in, in Postgres I, I didn't have to modify. For example, uh, so, so, so all this low level locking and uh, uh, all kinds of other interface stuff. So uh, I, 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 I can completely reuse and I have completely reused the, the uh, concurrent Btree implementation. Uh, with is its entry and posting trees uh, for people who don't know the internals and uh, it, it's uh, also possible that uh, these these modifications will, will will still be backward compatible to 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 run uh, so what uh, was necessary to to modify uh, as I, i've said before the uh, the intervals must be split when inserting uh, them as keys. I will describe that in detail on a next or later slide. Um, okay, yes. Um, so, 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 yeah, right, there's uh, two kinds of splitting. Uh, I mean, uh, the um, intervals that are already in the, the entry tree of the index must be split, and then also uh, the the uh, intervals if you insert one datum also uh, need to be adapted so 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 both uh, <coughs> uh, get uh, uh, take part in this, this uh, splitting uh, uh, access okay it's and and also um, to to probably search for the uh, uh, interval uh, boundaries that uh, have to be splitted I uh, uh, needed to, to implement a little bit different kind of, of so-called lower bound so, so search the next uh, search an element that, that is equal to, to the key that you're searching or uh, greater so uh, this I had to modify a bit and uh, to make it generic as, as, as other indexes are in, in Postgres uh, I essentially need additional support functions for the operator class and, and, and this is the, the part that makes it generic for, for people that implemented their, their own uh, uh, set data type uh, made of uh, intervals. Okay. Well, um, here I came up with, with, uh, with one of, in principle or in theory, 13 possible cases where how, how things need to split. So imagine that uh, in the index before, uh, in, in, in the range of, of 32 up to 128 we have uh, pointers or TIDs uh, for <coughs> the experts uh, to, to two uh, uh, objects so to, 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 to two sets and uh, so and, and, and now we have this other object 108 and it consists of many intervals and here we insert uh, this interval 96 to 128 and, uh, this, and, and then this obviously overlaps this interval so this means this has to be split uh, just along these borders so naturally uh, the border is 96 and uh, it is somehow as if this uh, this uh, entry is, 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 is modified in the key and, I, and we got a new uh, 
entry here in the uh, index with this uh, partial, with the split interval, which of course also includes these old objects and the new object. So this is, is uh, well, a bit technical and is a great hacking and slashing. Well, uh, this needs to be done uh, to make it work. Okay. Um, so some other details. Um, okay, this I already have said. Um, 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 um. Okay, so so yes, I mean, and, uh, RAM like like Genius is, is is basically engineered to 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 find exact matches of of, of keys. But uh, when one one has to to uh, do this hacking and slashing of, of of this interval insertion, sometimes one 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 uh, uh, or in general one he needs to have look out for, for higher intervals as the inserted as well or something and th uh, and then uh, well uh, sometimes one has to also uh, go to to another to, to the next page in the uh, <coughs> in the enter tree uh, of the index and, and, and there it's very useful that room already has this right and left link links, so such as the NB tree implementation of Postgres also has. Okay. Um, however, this was not that much work because uh, as, as, as RAM and, 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 and the Jin before uh, has some kind of internal object orientation. So, so, so the, the, the RAM has two uh, uh, kind of B trees, one for the entry tree and and, and, and one for the posting list. If 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 the so well if if if, if these uh, list gets very large, then, then, then this is also stored as a B tree. So we have a B tree here, and sometimes a B tree here, and and these are a little bit different, and and there's they share internal much of the same implementation. And, and for this lower bound, I, I had to uh, modify a bit, and, and, and then I just had to modify a few, uh, uh, well, but it's essentially the find and leave page method. Okay. So, so practically uh, speaking, if somebody would also, like I have done, implement a, a data type, a uh, set data type uh, that is made up of um, intervals, uh, then it would be possible with this Uso changes to, to RUM uh, to uh, adapt it. And just, just by uh, writing some simple, well, uh, nominally, nominally SQL functions, uh, uh, but but they, they, they must be implemented in C. But they are relatively simple, so, so it's, 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 it will be certainly more complicated to, to implement a custom set data type than to adapt it to, to RUM. So, so the support is just to, to the functions is that we need to get the boundaries of, of, of an interval, and we need to compare the boundaries, and, and we need to create an, an, an interval. And, 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 and this will be enough to, to have, have this Uso indexing for other uh, set data types based on intervals. Okay. Uh, what next? Yeah, some things that are not yet resolved, uh, <coughs> but must be. So, so this is, uh, in a way, uh, quite a work in progress. Uh, uh, there, there, there are some new concurrency issues if, if uh, the, um, uh, when, when this, this hacking and slashing of, of, of the interval in, in insertion during index build up uh, happens. And uh, then uh, it's it, it sometimes so that, 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 that uh, some, some locking is, will be necessary. I haven't implemented that yet. so. Uh, but it, it's, it's not that bad because at most three of, of these uh, split operation of intervals, I believe, uh, must be done at the same time and with, with some locks. And I, I, I hope that the concurrency wouldn't be uh, uh, to, to uh, wouldn't suffer too much from that. Okay. Okay. Well, that's already my talk. Thank you for listening. Any questions? 
Yes. Can you consider normalizing your data and just using range types, using PLT indexes? PLT? What do you mean? I, 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 I don't know PLT. So instead of having uh, large columns, yes. making a table with ID and uh, the range. Ah, okay, okay, yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, I, 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 I consider this uh, in, in the beginning, but then everything has to be done at application level, and the the setup I work in is is, is basically that uh, these uh, things. Uh, the, so, so the application programmers want to, to have this this kind of thing solved at the database level. <laughs> So, so, so this is basically the constraints, uh, the constraints I operate in. I, it should be possible to, to do all of that at the application level and, and, and probably get decent performance uh, depending on, on your use case. This, 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 uh, yes, yes, I, I, I won't rule out that, but uh, in, in this case, this wasn't a, a real option, so. <laughs> yes? Ah, so 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 the license uh, will 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 be the uh, the, the uh, standard Postgres license. Yes, yes, certainly. So it's it's just it, it needs it needs more polishing to 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 get pu <laughs> then then I will make it public. No, no, it it, it it's will be a standard Postgres license without. I I mean anything else I guess wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So 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 basically this 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 this, this shouldn't work you you mean or no. or, or, or it, it, it isn't recommended my so 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 the idea here is, sorry Ah, okay, okay, yeah. It's not hard to get around. It's just something that, you know, if you want this to be out for a while, you should fix. Okay, thank you. Further questions or remarks? Why Uzo Matraka? <laughs> Why Uzo? <laughs> the, the name? Yeah. Well, well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Well, I, 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 I thought that I uh, sort of didn't want to call it a fork of, of rum or whatever because it is, it's so experimental. And, 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 and then I thought I, 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 sh maybe I should try to honor the, the, um, you know, the, the tradition of, of, of these inverted indexing <laughs> have, have, have beverage like, like names. And, 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 and so. <laughs> And, and, and there's some, some, some other idea there that, that you, you see if you we go back here to, this, ah, to the slide. You see this, this Uso is some, under, under the right conditions, this gets some milky effect if it's, it's cold or whatever. And, and this is because this is basically physically, a, <coughs> I don't know the real pronunciation, called a thing. So, so, so molecules stick together. And also, you know, basically in, in these... Um, intervals, so the single int integer points, they sort of stick together. So there's some weird abstract analogy there. I, I, I guess this probably also had an influence. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, we still have a bit of time, but uh, if there's no questions, I think we can close the session. As you wish. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much.